What's up guys, it's Mariah. So in today's video, we are gonna be talking about how to celebrate special occasions at Disney World. And this is actually a requested video. Yay, I love requesting videos. If you have any requests for any videos you want me to do, please leave them in the comments below. But this video was requested by Polish the Look and she has a nail channel and um, she's really into Disney. You'll see her a lot in the comments. I love talking with her about Disney. And she requested this video, so I am doing this for you. I will, again, like I said, I will post her channel down below. She actually does a lot of Disney nail art. And she has a friend that does these really cool Disney drawings. Oh my gosh, y'all, please go and subscribe to her channel. <laughs> anyway, all right, so let's go ahead and jump into the video. So I'll start with a really cool tip, and that is to go to the Disney website and go to the Disney floral and gift shop on Disney site. And you can go in and actually order flowers, gift baskets, and what's called in-room celebrations where they have a lot of different um, items that they deliver to your room and they kind of decorate the room a little bit depending on the occasion that you're celebrating. They have different packages uh, that you can order for those occasions. And you actually don't have to be going to Disney World to send someone a gift basket or floor arrangement or do an in-room celebration you could actually gift it to somebody if you know a friend or a family member who is going to be down at disney world you can do this kind of as a surprise for them when they get to their room for the in-room celebrations it is fairly pricey it can be definitely it's, it is definitely upwards of 250 dollars per package but it might be worth it if you are definitely celebrating something really special maybe like an anniversary or birthday whatever i mean whatever you're celebrating you shoot that's all special whatever do you boo but it can also be great for people like i said who might just want to do something nice for somebody for their special occasion or if you are traveling with your party and you're doing this for a member of your traveling party then it might be beneficial especially if you're flying and you want to do something special for them and you don't want to bring a bunch of stuff in your luggage this is a nice way for you can you can just defer to disney to allow them to create that magic for you so last thing with the interim celebrations they are again based on whatever you're celebrating so for example if you are celebrating, if you're going with like a significant other and you're celebrating maybe an anniversary or maybe you're planning on proposing to your significant other or whatever the case is, or you're just doing it just because, um, then the package will like, will I've seen packages that come with wine or champagne, specialized wine glasses, chocolates, uh, a Swarovski piece of jewelry, different things like that. Y'all, me talking about this, I hope my future significant other watches this, <laughs> that watches this video to get some tips. <laughs> so my next tip or trick is to get a button. Disney has buttons, particularly for whatever celebration occasion that you are there to celebrate. And one, a little subset of this is that if you go to the Christmas shop in Disney Springs, which is awesome by the way, y'all, oh my gosh. I'll speak about that for another video. You can buy personalized buttons and have them personalize your button with whatever you're celebrating in calligraphy handwriting. And it just makes it a little bit more special because you can personalize it. It doesn't have to be. Disney has has buttons for birthdays and anniversaries and things like that already made. But if you're celebrating something very not common I guess uh, then you can go to the Christmas shop in Disney Springs and get it personalized with whatever it is that you want on the button this next tip is very important this is probably the most important tip of this video is to make sure that you put on your if you are staying at a Disney resort mark somewhere on your resort. I think there's somewhere where you can uh, mark on your reservation that you are celebrating something so if you're example if you're going celebrating a birthday then put that you're celebrating your birthday maybe however old you are if it's a particularly special birthday mark it and let them know because they do special things for you I think most resorts will put balloons in your room for when you arrive so it's just little things that they like to do to make your trip special so make sure that's on there for your dining reservations definitely 
put that you are celebrating something. Most of the time they will give you some type of awesome dessert or maybe an appetizer or free alcohol, you know, whatever the case is, just make sure that you mark it because Disney likes to make things like celebratory events very special. So it just makes your trip even more magical. And even if you call to make any of your reservations, dining or resort or whatever the reservation is for, just tell them if you're not doing your reservation online and you're calling, be sure to tell them on the phone that you are celebrating something and what that is. Also again, if you have booked one of the fireworks cruises for either Magic Kingdom or Epcot, then be sure to tell them when you book that reservation and I believe that they put up a banner with whatever it is that you're celebrating. So be sure again to let them know. The main tip is that if you are booking anything and you're reserving anything in advance, let them know that you're celebrating and they'll pull out all the stops for you basically. Because it's Disney World, y'all, it's awesome. It's the best customer service ever, so why wouldn't you tell them? You can also order small cakes from restaurants if you've brought your own candles or maybe things to decorate a cake. Then you can order a small cake and put your own candles on it and, you know, do whatever, sing happy birthday, whatever you want to do. If you want a big cake, like a traditional birthday cake, you can stop at any bakery on property and get one. Um, I know that the Boardwalk Bakery does a very good job at stuff like that. The Boardwalk is an area near Epcot and it has a lot of restaurants and shops and things like that. It's near the Boardwalk Resort. Um, but just be sure to check that out if you are interested in getting a cake. And with the cakes, you can also have them shipped to your resort room. So be sure to take advantage of that option as well if you would like to celebrate personally with whoever it is in your resort room. Last tip is that at Cinderella's Royal Table, which is a table service restaurant in Magic Kingdom, it's inside the castle and I will be eating there with my family for the first time. I've never been. I know Disney World people are like, oh, you never been. Yeah, I've never eaten there. So it's our first time eating there. It's actually inside the castle. Anyway, point being, if you eat there, if you have a reservation for Cinderella's Royal Table, and if you have small children that maybe you're celebrating a birthday or something special, then you there's an option to do a prince or princess themed dinner it's an extra added cost on top of your meal which is already expensive i know it's kind of a more expensive restaurant and i'm pretty sure the added cost is somewhere over a thousand not a thousand somewhere over a hundred dollars um but it might be worth it if you really want to pull out all the stops for your child um, so just be sure to check that out on the Disney website. And I will link the Disney World website that has information about celebrating things and I will link the floral and gift shop direct site, the URL as well down below so you can check that out if you're interested. Alright guys, so that's it for this video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Please leave me a comment below and tell me what your tips and tricks are for celebrating special occasions at Disney World are. I would love to know. One day is my goal to go there for my birthday. So maybe I'll make that happen maybe next year, maybe 2018. We'll see. But anyway, I hope you all like this video. So please give my video a thumbs up if you liked it and enjoyed. Please subscribe to my channel so that you can get in on all this Disney fun. I post new videos every Tuesday. And please let me know in the comments below what future Disney videos you want me to do. This is a requested video. So I do listen to you guys' requests. So please leave me a comment to let me know what you want to see in the future. Well guys, I think that's it and I hope you all have a magical day.